Hey, this is Mike with 5-Minute Guide. Uh, this video is going to show you how to use conditional formatting in Apple's numbers. Um, so we have a quick little spreadsheet put together. It's uh, just a quick little total of different income sources. I wish this was my income, but it's not. Uh, so, you know, it tallies up at the bottom when you change one of the income levels, the total changes. So let's say you wanted to make a goal and you wanted to color code your goal. So if it was above, if it was at or above three thousand dollars every month, then it would be the cell would turn green. Um, if it was between twenty five hundred and three thousand dollars, it would be yellow. And if it was below twenty five hundred dollars, the cell would turn red. So let's take a look at how to do that. Uh, up at the top of your screen, you're going to look for format, and then come right down to show conditional format rules. Uh, you have a drop-down that will show you all the different options that you have available to you. Um, it's not quite as advanced as Excel is, where you can set up uh, you know, formulas that will allow you to set conditions based on certain formulas. Um, but this is it's pretty robust with what it, it offers you here. You can do text, uh, does contain, does not contain. That's kind of cool. So if it doesn't contain s somebody's name, you can uh, you know, show one color. Where if it does contain their name, you can change it to a different color. Uh, so we are going to stick to the uh, greater than or equal to and the less than options. So when you use greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, um, it's exactly the number you choose or above or below if you use the less than. Uh, so we'll start here, create a rule. If it's greater than or equal to $3,000, uh, that's our rule. And now we'll edit what happens when that rule is, is met or when that condition is met. Uh, we'll leave the text as it is. We don't want it to be italicized, but we would like it to be bold and underlined. Uh, the fill will make kind of a green color, and we'll just hit done. And you'll see it's changed already in our tab because it's already over $3,000. Uh, next, we'll add another rule by clicking that plus sign. This one, uh, again, will be greater than or equal to, and this time it'll be 2500 Again, you'll click edit, turn off the italics. Uh, this one, we won't underline it. And we won't make it bold, but we will make the background a yellow color. Hit done. And then again, hit the plus sign. And this time, we are going to choose just less than. Now, this means that if it's less than the $2,500 we've entered here, so $2,499, uh, it'll be uh, the color that we choose. Otherwise, if it's $2,500 exactly, it'll revert to the other rule, which is greater than or equal to. Um, so again, we'll edit this. Get rid of that italics, and we'll make this a ugly little red color. Hit done, and then we can change our uh, change our table and see what happens. So pretty simple, very uh, very easy and straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, leave us questions in the comments. Uh, we also take requests. If you have any other things you'd like to learn how to do in Numbers or Excel or or anything else you've seen on our channel. Uh, and if this video has been useful to you, please share it with your friends on Twitter or Facebook. That helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot, guys.